down, down, pat and plots, plots, pat and down. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. What are you doing? Good down, free dog. Good job. Come on over here, pal. Patton. Good boy, free dog. That's a good job, pal. What are you doing? Free dog. All right, buddy, all done. All done. So I see it's only the down command, guys. I get it. It's only the down. But if you saw when he first got here, he refused to go down. And I've said it a thousand times. When a dog gets here and refuses to go down easily, I back off, I don't force it. It's not important to me. But I can guarantee you, when I go back to it five or six days later, after that relationship and that trust is there, then we become a team. I'm the captain of that team. He is going to give me what I want every single time with heart and soul. That's dog training. That's why we call it dog training, not dog forcing. That simple. Don't be so quick to force your dog into positions. If he won't go into the down, he's trying to tell you something. Give it time. I've shown it over and over and over again. Down will quickly become their strongest position. I promise you. I promise you it's like that with every dog. So don't force it, okay? Be patient. Teach the dog. Come and Patton, down. Down. Very nice. Free dog, buddy. Very nice. Good. So that was the very first time I asked Patton for the down at a distance. So if you guys remember, I showed you the video. He wouldn't down at all when he got here. Then I showed you how good the down was. So that was the very first time I asked him to down at a distance and that's why I filmed it. So I get tons of messages and emails. People ask when they see Mango or Luca, when they see my dogs, you know, downing on a send away or downing from a distance. They say they struggle teaching the down at the distance. Well, I don't teach the down at a distance. When a dog goes down at a distance, all it is is because the down command is known very, very well. That's all it is, guys. I don't practice the down at a distance. If the dog truly knows the command, they're going to do it at a distance with distractions around. It doesn't matter. And that's what so many fail to understand. They think they have to practice getting the dog to down from a distance or sit at a distance or stand at a distance, and they fail miserably. But the truth is... I practice it in close. I need the dog to down 100% for me when it's next to me, okay? Then when they know the command really well, we practice in that intermittent phase so the dog really learns. So I'm very pleased with that. I didn't know if he was gonna do it or not. And so you see, he looked at me and he thought for a second, okay, not really sure, Can I? am I supposed to come to you? And so when I said down and he was looking at me confused, I gave him the hand signal. And he understood, okay, right here, I'm very pleased with that. Very, very happy. So that's really good. We've gotten a ton accomplished with Patton in less than three weeks. Like, a lot accomplished in a very short amount of time. What a lot of people don't understand, Patton doesn't have any behavioral problems. It's just young dog stuff, puppy stuff, adolescent dog stuff. And when you get a dog that has behavioral issues, behavioral problems, it's very, very easy to impress the owners because most problems can be fixed in a short amount of time. And when you fix a behavior problem and give the dog back to the owner, that's all they care about. So they're ecstatic, you know, really happy. Very, very easy to please owners when you have dogs with behavioral problems. But when you have dogs without behavioral problems, very difficult to impress owners because you have to teach a lot of stuff in a very short amount of time, you know, that, that, that easy. But I'm very happy with him and rarely do I say I'm very happy with the dog and where we stand. But I am with this knucklehead. What do you think, Patton? What do you think? You're almost going home. You're almost ready to go home. I'm gonna miss you a great deal. Please don't hit the tripod. The dog is such a goofy boy. He constantly bangs into the tripod and knocks it over. But that was good. Just a quick little 
down at a distance and he passed with flying colors. But remember, I don't practice down at a distance, I practice down right next to me. Okay guys, really quick video here. It's uh, meal time for Patton. If you guys remember when he got here, he would not go down. And I talked about how I don't force the down. I give him a week or so, and then it becomes very strong, right? Okay, we won't go over all that again. His down is coming very well. So now I'm going to start pushing it and asking him for a little more. So I'll put him down over there. I'll put his food over here and I'm going to actually allow him to fail and break it. I want him to make the mistakes here. Okay. And as he makes the mistakes, I'm not going to physically punish him. I'm going to let him know that that's the wrong answer. It's not what I want. Right. Uh, uh means no, I don't want that wrong choice. And I'm going to continue to put him back. I don't care if he breaks it 10 times. In fact, I hope he breaks it a few times because that's how he's going to learn better exactly what I want. When he breaks it, I'm going to stop him from getting to the food, bring him back to the start and put him back down. When he holds it just long enough, I don't need him to hold it forever. Everything's going to start small. Then I will release him to come eat. It's going to be very difficult for him. He's very food driven and he's raring to go. All right, Patton, come on. But he will break this several times, I can guarantee it, because he has a hard time thinking right now. His food drives very high. Come here, buddy. Down. Good. So he's got a good down, but you remember, he didn't have it down when he got here. He refused to go down. I never forced it. Uh-uh. See, there you go. There's the first time. Nope. Over here. Come here. It's not what I want, buddy. I need you to stay down. Down. Good. He'll do this a few times, maybe several times. Totally okay. That's how it's going to get very strong. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope. Let's go. Over here. Come here. It's not going to happen, homeboy. Right here. Down. No, Patton. Uh-uh. Nope. Come here. Come here. Down. And that's exactly what I want. A lot of people won't understand time with that and they'll criticize it. But trust me, it helps. Down. Uh-uh. Good. Nope. Uh-uh. Come here. Come here. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, why don't you punish that? He doesn't know this well, guys. He's still learning. And you don't punish a dog for doing something that they don't know. Okay? Down. Now. Yes. Good boy. So see, then he starts thinking and he caught himself there, right? That's exactly what I want, guys. That's how these dogs learn. That's how that becomes so solid. That's how the obedience gets stronger for the real world, okay? So I knew he'd break it several times and he did. He didn't do it because he's being a jerk or being defiant. He doesn't know how to do that yet. He doesn't have that control. I want him to break it so I could tell him, no, buddy, that's not what I want. Put him back down and just do it over. I don't care if I had to stand here for 30 minutes doing this. He's going to learn through the mistakes, but we're going to just go back to the beginning and do it over. So there, what I love is he went to get up, he caught himself because now he's learning. Okay. I didn't have to hammer him. I didn't have to say oh, he's being bratty. He's being a jerk. He's being an asshole. No, he's a dog who's learning. Okay. I'm always going to teach him, teach him, teach him. All right. Beautiful thing that he caught himself and stopped himself. That's when you know the dog's learning. You're a good boy, Patton. You handsome devil, you. Have a good day, folks.